Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to ASID PA East Lunch and Live Edition for Tuesday, May 26th. Had to think about that. What, what month are we in? Um, so today we are going to be joined by Cara Perry of the Kohler Signature Store in King of Prussia, which is part of the Hajoka family. Um, so Cara will be joining us today. And I just want to give us a minute for everybody to start hopping on and we'll bring Kara in. I've known Kara for probably close to 10 years now. Uh, so this is great to talk to her today. Uh, also, we want to thank everybody for who turned into our webinar series last year, Ask the Experts. We had almost 100 attendees on that webinar. And it is now live up on our YouTube channel for you to check out if you have yet to see it. Our next webinar will be about the design community uh, at this time of COVID. So that will be next Wednesday, June 10th, and the registration is live uh, right now. You can find the links to the professional development webinars on our uh, links in our bio. So I'm gonna bring Kara in right now and we'll start today's Lunch and Live conversation. We're just waiting for her to hop on. There she is. Hi, Kara. Can she hear me? Hi there. How you doing, Hello, Jim? I can, can you hear see me okay? You. Yes. Oh, and you have Hello. tile behind you. You have a very nice background. <laughs> yeah, we got our Ansax tile in the background here. Very so nice. I I set so, up in the back of the store here in King of Prussia. So you're in King of Prussia yeah, today. I'm getting a bad You know what, Kim? Let me see. We're getting a bad connection. It's freezing. Okay. So let me try. I'm going to try to move a little bit. Our Wi-Fi has been a little iffy today, so let me try to move further this way. Okay. Well, we're we'll getting a, a little tour, tour as we're walking, right? <laughs> we're getting a nice little view. Any behind better you. here? Yeah, you're fine. All right, let's see. Okay, perfect. This will be a perfect. walking tour, so I can keep the Wi-Fi connection going here. Apologize for that. <laughs> So everybody, this is Karen Perry. She is our industry partner representative for all things Kohler, King of Prussia, Hajoka family. Um, so Kara is based out of the Kohler, King of Prussia store and out of Collingswood too, correct? Just That's to give correct. everybody a little, a little basis. So why don't you tell everybody about the, how the whole thing works between Weinstein, the King of Prussia Kohler store. So just everybody gets a sense because you kind of cover New Jersey, South Jersey, mm -hmm. and uh, like the whole Eastern kind of PA area. Um, so just kind of give everybody a little idea about that. Sure. So um, Weinstein Supply is a division of Hajoka Corporation, uh, which owns probably about 500 supply houses throughout the country. And we do business as ourselves. So um, a couple years ago, we opened up, again, about three now, the Kohler Signature Store. It was the first uh, Hajoka Kohler Signature Store in the country here in uh, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we've been really excited about it. It's a great concept. Uh, if you haven't been here, I suggest you check it out. I think, Kim, you've, you've seen our facility. So we have the tile, the lighting, yeah. uh, everything Kohler, Roburn, and Sachs. Uh, so it's just some beautiful items here. But um, so we each store for Weinstein and Kohler, we operate independently, uh, but we're a part of the bigger umbrella. So you can get kind of that, you know, homey feel of being in one store, but also uh, corporate resources, um, including our great relationship with Kohler. Um, and with everything going on and us having to pivot our business model recently with uh, obviously with everybody's experience with COVID, uh, we've had Kohler as a great partner. Um, exciting news is uh, last Monday, we opened uh, a lot of our showrooms to appointment only. So we're really excited about that. Uh, luckily, uh, plumbing is an essential business. So um, 
we did take a break corporately to close our showrooms for our employees and our customers to be safe. Um, we feel now that it's a great time to open up. Uh, we are doing, you know, very strict protocols to keep everybody safe, you know, appointments. Kohler sent us in tons of supplies. We are disinfecting between every customer. So um, it's, it's been a change. I mean, we, I'm not wearing a mask currently because I'm not with a customer, but if you were to come right. in the store, the staff would be fully masked. We actually have okay. a customer in here now that's um, with one of our associates. Uh, but it's been great. I mean, we have here in King of Prussia, we have five booked appointments today. So oh, that's awesome. um, that's it's great. To it's great to see. And it's, it's a great move forward for everybody. Um, and the good thing is that our delivery facilities are, are up and running. We never stopped that part of the process. So um, if customers have existing orders with us, we are able to ship. Um, we're doing contactless shipping so we can drop it. Uh, you don't have to sign. So, you know, it's just, it's been a change. Like everybody has seen, you know, how we pivot to, um, you know, comply with these restrictions and make sure number one, our employees and our customers are safe. Uh, but no, we're excited. This is, couldn't be better That's timing true. to be on this call because, you know, we, <laughs> this, we had a good, we have a good week under our belt and we feel like we really are, are moving forward okay, with this great. process. Yeah. Was it weird going back to the office, like going back into the showroom after so long? Yeah. You know, I cried my whole way in the first day. Uh, a lot of that is because I have three children. They're at home. I was going to say, that's one of my questions later. Yeah. You're home with three children. Yeah. I know, yeah. So there was that, um, you know, fear factor of, you know, you, you get used to spending a lot of time together, but um, it's been great. You know, it's good to be back in. I, I'm, I'm still trying to find pants with buttons, right, that fit after this <laughs> COVID experience. But um, no, it's, it's been good. It's a good balance. And um, we, we've had you know, some restricted hours because we want to make sure that we have plenty right. of time and disinfect. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to open up in phases just like everybody else. And when we feel like the next phase is safe, we'll, we'll continue with that. But it's, everybody's been really supportive, which has been great through the industry. And, um, you know, ASID has been great with intending our um, Kohler CEU courses. I got my little, I got my little uh, thank you in the mail the other day. You got the soap from Amy. Perfect. Yeah. So we were lucky to have Amy do those CU courses. <laughs> um, we, I'm glad to say that Pennsylvania had the highest uh, rate of attendance in the whole country. We're awesome. Like, yeah. So um, thank you That's for that. Fabulous. Thank you for that. And thank you for promoting them. And we look forward to doing some more events. You know, it, it, we were just talking about in the back, you know, when does it get back to normal where we have these right. great events, but you know, we could be creative and we will, we'll continue to, to support our local um, agencies with, you know, online or Zoom or, you know, whatever we have to do to make people feel comfortable, but to make sure they still learn about our business and how we can help them. Exactly. I mean, we had to, like ASID, we had to figure out what to do because one of our next events was with you guys yep. out in King of Prussia. And it was like, three, two weeks after everything started to shut down, we're like, what do we do? And then like, how do you support the industry partners, you know, right. who support the chapter? So, you know, that the best thing we could do is everybody started to do like CEUs online. So it was yep. the idea was just to promote it so that at least, you know, people see that that options out that you're sitting at home, you can do right. your CEUs, you yeah. know, so we all kind of had to adapt a certain way and, and learn how to use all these different formats as yes. well yeah I mean <laughs> I, I had never been on a zoom call in my life um I think either did I the first yeah. couple you spend I think 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get everybody on the call and make sure you have sound and you know so for me being uh, in my I hate to admit in my 40s I'm like I, I'm bringing my kids over you know how do I get myself <laughs> on the thing but you know it's been great and it's it's been good for um I'm, I'm sure all businesses that have been able to open up appointment only being able to contact the customer and have a conversation before they come into the store to really figure out what their needs are so that we can, right. you know, make the appointment efficient and they feel comfortable that they can make decisions quickly. I've done a, a couple virtuals. That's been, it's been fun. Like to do, we do like, we'll do a FaceTime and mm -hmm. um, you know, it's people are in the, you know, in, in their own home and able to shop, but we're still able to, you know, show them all the features and benefits, which is, which has been great. Yeah, uh, definitely. Now, and I can see you're behind, you're in front of one of my favorite walls right there. 
which is what the history of Kohler behind you, I can see. Yeah, yeah, I'm turning the wrong way. See, look how good. It, yep, that's the history of Kohler <laughs> behind there in the front window. Yeah, that's a pretty cool feature you guys have there. So. Yeah, yeah. No, you it's, still it's don't good. have the purple tub I want. So. I know. Kim, I was trying to get it for this interview for you so I could sit in it, but we couldn't <laughs> get it fast enough. <laughs> I know. That was like, there is a purple, like, freestanding Kohler tub. Of course, know, everybody who knows me knows I would want that. So someday like, down the road, if I ever goes to get discontinued before I get a house, we'll have to hide one somewhere for me. I, I, think, um, I think we can help you with that. So, so we, we <laughs> at very least, we can get you some cast iron samples uh, that show. There the you house. go. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about how, uh, you know, with these changes, it's great that you can have, you know, phone calls before to kind of narrow things down. But tell me how your team can help like the designers in mm -hmm. our organization. You know, I've, I know firsthand because yeah. Kara has been a lifeline to me mm -hmm. with projects in the past over yes. the past 10 years when I was working at a construction company to designing on my own. So just kind of share that with everybody so that they know how sure. to use you guys as a resource. Yeah. So, I mean, like we always have, we try to, you know, make sure that we strive on customer service and, you know, helping you with the knowledge because being a designer, you have to worry about everything in the space. We just have to be the masters on the kitchen and bath fixtures. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we love to, you know, do virtual appointments. Again, we can now go back in the store, but if there's any research you want to do, you know, I'll have designers that'll email and be like, do you have anything that looks like this? And, you know, that's fine. Give me, you can give me a painting and say, we want, we want fixtures that go with this. And I've had customers do that. And, you know, we, we make it work. We'll do the research for you. Um, you know, and obviously we have a lot of brands that support us, Kohler, especially here at the store. Um, mm -hmm. so, so we can do picture books. That's been our biggest thing. We added to our system at Weinstein uh, probably, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago. Uh, a picture book option that also has specs. So you'll get the right. picture of the item. And then when you click on the right, you can pull up the specification, which I think is, is really helpful. So it's very easy for us to do that. Um, you know, it makes it easier for us too, because the last thing is, you know, trying to present to a client and all you have is numbers, you know, our numbers right. don't mean anything to anybody but us really. So if we can yeah. have those <laughs> coordinating um, pictures, you know, that's great. And, you know, we also, you know, I feel like we're at here in King of Prussia and in Collinswood, we're, you know, very accessible areas. Um, you know, if you're here with us, you could drive down the street two miles and you could be at Cambria and look at their slabs. So it's good that we have a lot of connections in these areas to be able to, you know, partner together with, you know, different vendors and be able to, to service you. And, you know, so you're, you're making your time useful so you can do a couple things while you're in the area. That's perfect. Yeah. But yeah, you know, the King of Prussia has that whole little niche. We've yeah. um, like uh, Stone Glidden's out there. Who's yeah. one of, you know, our industry partners, uh, bright light design studio. So mm -hmm. you can hit like this whole little circle of everybody yeah. out right out there yep. to go to, which is great. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's but I, definitely I would definitely, cool. I, I like that picture book. It's really cool. And Kara can find stuff. She's the only one who found me. My flat waterfall faucet. So. <laughs> it took a little while. But nobody's like, no, I have no idea. I don't, this doesn't exist. Because yeah. you find something on Pinterest and Kyra found it. So yeah. she's like my go-to. <laughs> the coolest thing ever. Yeah, uh, I guess. Coolest thing ever, but coolest thing ever. Yeah, and that's good. <laughs> we have a good little team where, if, you know, a lot of our, like I've been in the business 20 years, or might be somebody that works with us that's been three, but it, we'll send each other's email, emails like, have you seen this? Do you know where right. to get this? You know, and if we don't, we'll try to direct you to sites that, you know, you can find something similar, you know, maybe the customer will be happy with it. Um, the other thing we've been doing virtually, which has been great since we've been, you know, changing our, our pivoting, how we're doing business is trying to get samples for the designers and the builders and the contractors okay. and the homeowners. Yeah. So, you know, if somebody doesn't, if you have a, a customer that does not have a comfort level that they're ready to come into a store yet, Let's figure out ways that if we need to send them, you know, a finish sample or a wood sample, you know, so you can send it, we can send it right to their house for your client. So then they have it live and they can take a, a look at it. Um, you know, cause I know that's a challenge for you guys, just like it is for us. There's all different levels of comfort with the customers right now and the consumers and the homeowners. So if they don't, you know, want to take the option to come in, there's creative ways that we've found around okay. it. I drove, yeah, I drove to Yardley two weeks ago. You know, I live in New Jersey to drop off, you know, on someone's doorsteps, 
you know, samples of woods because, you know, they, they wanted to see it and we want to make sure that we're able to yeah. fill that for them. However, we need to do it. Understandably so. I mean, that's great that you guys have the samples available because years, I mean, we're talking like 15 years ago, I had this cool little fold out for sure that had like all the little samples mm -hmm. of all the color. Yep. Like colors. I mean, of course, it's like non-existent now because it's all changed most of it. But that was a great tool that you could take it to, when you were working with tile or yep. you know, paint that if right. you were trying to pick stuff out, but you needed that color mm -hmm. of what you're working with of the fixtures. It's it's a great yep. tool to have those. Yeah. Yeah. And absolutely. And, and Kristen that works here in the Kohler store, she's been doing some um, like some boards like on Pinterest and things like that, that she can do for the customer to send to you. Like, so she'll, grab a, an Ansax tile and a Kohler lighting fixture. I don't know if you've seen the Kohler lighting fixtures that for mm -hmm. those of you that have, they're, they're gorgeous. So she can make you like a little board that you can send to your customers. We've been putting them on some of our social media. Um, but yeah, so we can, we can do that as well. She has access to pull, you know, a oh, couple different cool. things and, and send it as well for the customer if you want something other than a picture book. So that's been a great tool as well, but you know, definitely virtually social media has, has changed being able to promote yourself, obviously, and that's been great for us. We have been working with a firm for probably about six to eight months right now, and they okay. just, they're great. You know, I send them little concepts that make no sense to anybody, and they make it, <laughs> they make it into a post, right? You know, yeah. here's, here's a picture of this. Can you do something with that? So um, that's been great, and it's, you know, everybody's been very supportive of, you know, uh, the things that we've been posting, especially you know, touch lists and bidets. Yeah, that's they, great. They usually get the most views, our, our videos of anything touch lists. So we're pretty excited okay. to be able to promote that. That uh, and It's good to know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got the kitchen faucet working here in King of Prussia and in um, Collingswood. So you can just, you know, run your hand under it. You don't even have to touch the faucet. Perfect. So well, probably, who knew Space Age technology would be right? needed as much right now? Right. We all be like, what is this, you know? Yeah, like wizardry <laughs> going on. No, yeah. we need right now. So, so you mentioned being home in, with three lovely children. You have lovely. two girls and a boy, right? I have two girls and a boy. Sixteen. So, 13, how have you been home? They're you know they're somewhat near teenage age. Some yeah. of them. Yeah. You it's, know how has that been? You know, work working from home and them being home. It's been good. You know, we we have our little routine that we had. So you know they, I we would get them up at 8 a.m. every morning just to keep them on a schedule and they would do their work and I would do mine next to them. And then we would, you know, take a break and, you know, it, it was, it was fun. I, I, I don't get to see them with them being in school full time and playing sports. So, you know, it actually, that was the silver lining to get that time back with the kids that I normally wouldn't have. And it, it's been great. I mean, obviously you're, all on top of each other all the time right <laughs> but you know i've relearned how to ride a bike i mean it's not pretty but i can do it now <laughs> my sister did that she the the her youngest who will be nine this week wanted to like go out so she went and bought a bike mm -hmm. and you know and of course like the first week into it he falls off of it and breaks oh jeez and then it's both like Right. So <laughs> just what you want to do, go to the like emergency room, right? With yeah, those. exactly. That's what you had to do. It was fabulous. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so, so that's great that, you know, I, I almost thought of that. I was like, what, what could, you know, so what are some of the hobbies that, you know, that you're used to doing that you haven't been able to do, you know, with kind of this stay at home? I mean, yeah. things are starting to lift, mm -hmm. but is there something that you haven't been able to do that you kind of miss doing right now? Well, it's funny. I didn't think I would miss it. Um, my hobbies with the three kids are driving to sports every day, okay. every, all weekend. So I didn't think I would miss it, but I do. You know, I miss being able to sit there and, and watch them. You know, I have a daughter who plays high school sports and, you know, I have children in middle school. Um, but it's been a good thing because my daughter has her permit. So now that the roads aren't as busy, I, she's been driving me everywhere. So you okay. know, I had her drive to the shore last week. So it's given us a good time to, to focus on. On, on driving. I was told to stop putting my hand on the side and making like cringing faces the other day, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like so, any parent with a teenage driver. Like yeah. My, like my mom still does to me to this day, but um, no, it's been fun being able to, you know, she's really been able to go out on the roads, but I, I do miss, you know, that, that running around. 
um, right. you know, uncertainty of, you know, are we going to have a swim season? Are they going to be able to play soccer? You know, things that they, they enjoy. But at the same time, yeah. you know, they're back to being kids again. I didn't have any plans in the summer growing up, and now they might not have any either, which is not a bad thing for one year in their life. So, you know, take the good with the bad, find the silver lining. That's all you can do. Exactly. Now, you said you, you, you did get down to the shore. You said you were going to yeah, try to. I did. So how, how was that for those yeah. New Jersey behaving? <laughs> so it's funny. We go to the North Shore, Seaside Heights, which is usually right. really crowded. So I guess I go up to the shore, right? And it was, it was actually not bad. Uh, Friday there or, there or Saturday, there was nobody on the beach. It was... Oh, wow. Okay. It was dead, which was nice. I mean, you can't go in the water, but to actually sit there, the water looks super clean because, you know, nobody's been in it and nobody's around. There's nobody. Right. Yeah. So, but it, it was, it was actually really peaceful. The boardwalk was a little busy and it's, you know, it's odd to go up with the mask on and order the food mm -hmm. and things like that, but you can't beat boardwalk pizza. So, you know, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, perfect New Jersey boardwalk pizza. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. Now you said you've been in the business for 20 years. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about that? Sure. That, you know, what you've done over that time, just so that it's always nice to, interesting to hear where yes. people came from, because yeah. there might be something in there. We're all like, wait, you did that. Right. Well, thanks for aging me. I know 20 years. I can't believe it. I've been in it for uh, <laughs> 20, 22 now. So. <laughs> I think I'm rounding with the 20. Um, so okay. I, I, I'm at 22 <laughs> now. So yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I went to college for marketing and visual and apparel and merchandising, believe it or not. Um, I was working for Macy's and then Eddie Bauer as um, a retail manager. And um, my husband was working for Kohler, actually. He's been working for them for over 20 years. And he went into a showroom in Newark, which is where we were living, and which was Best Plumbing Supply in Scarsdale. And they said, bring your girlfriend in. And we weren't even married at the time. Bring your girlfriend in. We want to meet her. So I went into the plumbing supply and they're like, we think you'd be great for this. Why don't you try it? I'm like, okay. And here I am ever since. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's been, it's been a fun ride. And um, I've spent most of my career with Hajoka Weinstein, but I worked, you know, I did Ferguson's management training program. I worked for a lot of different distributors. I went and worked for a vendor for one year. Um, and it's, it's been great. I mean, it's, it's been a fun ride. I mean, luckily Hajoka has always been a home for me and especially through all of this, um, listening to our management team and our president and our regional managers and how they've handled this situation has just been, it's been amazing. Like we, we have a good support system and they've always put our health first with this situation. You know, again, being labeled essential, you're kind of, you know, on that border, but you know, they kept us safe. And when we were ready to reopen, we take, you know, we take very strict measures. We ask a mm -hmm. lot of questions and we, we sanitize and, you know, we want to make sure everybody feels safe, um, but then still offer the virtual options, right? If you want to stay in your house and you want us to FaceTime you, we're happy to do it if that's what your comfort zone is. That's definitely, that's, that's definitely plus to have that because some people aren't ready to go out yet. Right. You know, yeah. I a lot aren't. Yeah. I've, I've ventured out. It was a lot less, but I think I'm at six times now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, I can get gro grocery delivery. That's my biggest thing. I'm okay right. with that. But, yeah. you know, I, I, I hopped over the bridge for the first time on Saturday and it was like, ooh, I was waiting for the easy pass to forget what to do. Um, <laughs> Where did you go? Wegmans? <laughs> no, I went to get donuts and chicken at Federal Donuts. I oh, mean, gotcha. <laughs> if you're going to go over for crappy food, why not? You why know? not? Right, right. Yeah, the Wegmans line like, has been pretty crowded. I've been watching the Wegmans and Cherry Hill has been... Uh, it's been crazy, the, the lines, but, you know, everybody's been pretty, you know, safe, I feel like, you know, and everybody, and again, everybody has a different comfort level. And that's, that's the challenging part of having a retail yeah. business is you want to make sure. I haven't you're... driven past that one yet, but I can only imagine because yeah. that one on a slow day is insane. Yeah. But I drove past the one in Mount Laurel, mm -hmm. yep. at like 38 and 295 yep. on Saturday with the Target next to it. Yes. And it was like a hot mess. I'm yeah. like, it was like a normal Saturday. I'm like, nope, not yeah. going near them with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> right. Not even a 20 foot pole. I'm like, I'm going to go do my curbside pickup what I needed and yep. I'm going to go home. Yep. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And that's true. I mean, that's the good thing about like some of the stuff we, you know, we provide, like if you need one kitchen faucet, 
it's pretty easy to do virtually. You know, if right. you don't want to leave your house, um, you know, I, we can turn it on for you. We can send you videos. So, and we can ship at UPS. I mean, we, we have a ton of Kohler inventory in our warehouses in Chester, Pennsylvania for both stores. That's awesome. Okay. So, you know, UPS is a day right to your home. Um, or, you know, we have drivers that can bring it to your house. Again, you don't even have to see them. You don't have to come out of the house if you don't want to. Um, we'd be happy to put it there and, you know, you can keep moving with your project because it seems like we've hit a point we've noticed, especially with the amount of appointments that we have, that people are getting a little bit more comfort of having people in their home, right? Because that's the other thing. Like, do you want a contractor in your right. home? What safety precautions are they taking if you have children? So we feel like that a lot of that has, um, you know, calmed down a little bit and people are a little bit more comfortable with the people they're selecting to go into their homes. And we want to support that however we can. That's perfect. Now, since you're in the showroom, is mm -hmm. there something in there that is a favorite of yours? Oh, uh, yeah, there is a lot of favorites. Let's see. Can I walk? Can we do a walk? Yeah, go tour? ahead. I'm gonna... We're going to go walking tour today for today's lunch. <laughs> this is fun. I like this. Yeah, let me go to my favorite. I know, I'm only going to see if I can figure out how to flip this camera is going to be the thing here, Kim. All right. So. Or just turn it. So, oh, you did it. Yes. So this is, is that the floral? Vi yeah. Is that the floral lab? Yes. With oh, the I love that thing. That is amazing. That's on my Pinterest board for my future house. So we'll, we'll give you that with the uh, Kohler tub. And then I guess let me it's just perfect show you. together. The other thing that I'll have to share a picture of that later after this. So everybody can see how amazing yeah. that thing is. It's gorgeous. I'm going to just show you one other thing. So something that we have that's unique. Let me just flip is, um, the Kohler Signature stores can do uh, a finish to order program. So oh, cool. some finishes that aren't available in certain styles, we can actually uh, order custom in a finish. So like if you wanted a very contemporary brush gold faucet for your kitchen sink, we can do that. It takes a little bit of time, but we have access to it. So we got um, time now, everybody. We have Not time. Not like anything else to do. Yep. We got time. <laughs> This yeah. is, and and I, do, do you see now that things are, you said, are opening back up and you've got all these appointments, do you think people are realizing, having been home for the past two and a half months, because we're at about that mark now, that they're sitting there going, going, oh, dear God, my bathroom and my kitchen. Yes. You know, I, think, I, I see that yeah. there's going to be like an influx of, dear God, yes. I need to change things. Yes, that is very common. Or that tiny little leak that was coming out of your kitchen faucet that you were ignoring because you were busy you see that now. So there's a lot of like small DIY things even that people can do. I don't mm -hmm. know if, we, you know, that we, a kitchen faucet, sometimes people are handy enough to just do that on their own. And we've seen a lot of that too. Towel bars, accessories. Like I've been staring at this toilet paper holder in my house that's been hanging off. And I'm like, why don't <laughs> I just get that? I work in a plumbing right. supply, you know? So, so yes, there's a lot of that. That's a really, really good point, Kim. We've seen a lot of that. And, you know, with people being home and wanting to make improvements on their home, you know, a lot of people are doing, you know, outdoor kitchens because they feel like, you know, that's they have de them. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's, that's definitely, I think that's going to be a big boom for that because, I mean, you know, we're inside. And when we started this, it was March. It was still kind of cold. Right. And then we hit April and we right. had all this rain. So it's like, you're not going outside. But I've spent the past two weekends, you know, I'm in an apartment. So I'm like, I have a deck. Mm -hmm. So it's not big, but it's enough that I've been spent the past two weekends cleaning it up, re kind of doing it because I'm like, that'll be a outside space that mm -hmm. I'm not sitting inside, right? you know, yeah. you know, that I have a safe place to go outside, yep. you know, yeah. and enjoy. So, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that, I think that'll be something that we'll see is, you know, a little bit of a trend. And the good thing is, you know, we've done a lot of shore properties and things like that. So we have a lot of good ideas for that. There's even faucets on the market that are guaranteed to go outdoors because they're solid stainless steel. So there's a lot of options that we have for Perfect. the outdoor kitchens to coordinate with, you know, whatever you're doing, if you're going to do appliances out there. And, you know, so we have some, some experience yeah. in that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to be a definite big boom, yeah. you know, as people are going Absolutely. I need to be outside and I can right. be now, you right. know, so I think Absolutely. that's definitely going to be awesome. So yeah. fabulous. Well, thank you for joining us today, Kara. Thank and you. And giving us a little tour of the showroom. Of course, 
when it's back and we can have an event there, yes. that'll be one of the first places we're hitting since we yeah. didn't have the opportunities. So we, we had a board meeting there about a year and a half ago and it was fabulous. So Great. we always like coming and seeing everything there. So thank you to you and the yes. team and everybody else. I see Angela popped on here That's as well. Yep. Um, so fabulous. So thank you again, you guys. Uh, we'll post all the account, social media accounts so you can follow the Kohler King of Prussia store, wine scene, everything, um, and check that out. And we're going to post that uh, That's thing for you guys as well so everybody can see that. We did, I think, have that in our campaign when we were supposed to have the CE right. there back in April. But yeah. so thank you again for joining us, Kara. Thanks again, for Again, we'll be back next week with another Lunch and Live. And don't forget our webinar next week. And everybody be safe and healthy, and we will see you soon. Thanks, Have a great Kim. day, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.